Hi guys, I hope all of you preparing well for upcoming chemistry competitive examinations. I may not give a frequent video lectures here, but each and every video lecture which I post here will have the best concepts and they will help you a lot in your success. So watch the each and every video completely and take important information from each of it. Okay, right. And if you are interested, you can uh, also visit and join chemmasters.online website to get the best concept oriented courses along with a high standard online test series. This problem was uh, picked up from Reagents Part 1 exam, which was conducted on the online test series of Chemmasters.online Institute. So here we are going to analyze it. Okay, now just look at given epoxide. We have given with a lilac epoxide where epoxide is showing above the plane of the reactant. Okay, right. Now, we apply red aluminium in one of the reaction and in other we have applied dibol on the given allylic epoxide. So, we should find the correct sequential products. Okay, right. In your first step, try to look at how red aluminium opens the given allylic epoxide. Okay, right. I'm just trying here. So, just look at here. I just move this epoxide. The epoxide which is shown with thick line is above the plane. I'm just drawing this epoxide onto the plane. When I do that, one of the group on the plane should move above the plane. Okay, so that's why here this hydroxy group, uh, CH2OH group should move above the plane. Okay, right. Now, so before uh, going to give the transition state here, do you know? The structure of red aluminium. So, this is the structure of red aluminium, which contains two hydrogens, okay, and with branches, a bulk branch CH3. It is the structure of red aluminium, right? Now, in your first step, what happens? The lone pair of electrons on hydroxy oxygen attack on aluminum. Okay, and one of the hydride cleaves from it. In the next step, to compensate the positive charge on this oxygen, so hydrogen cleaves as H plus. So hydride and H plus combines to produce H2 gas and which moves out from that reaction media. Okay, so in this case, you can make a bond between aluminum and uh, this allylic oxygen. Right here, it is having another hydra hydrogen and just draw the branch of this red aluminum. Okay, right now, this hydride has only possibility to attack on this epoxide from here to open this epoxide okay so here because uh, we can simply say that due to the direction of this allylic hydroxy oxygen the hydride from that red aluminum transfer from this allylic hydroxy group only to open this epoxide okay and here we have OH Okay, so this is the step we can see. Now, after the workup, you can get hydroxy group here. Now, just check one, two, 
3. So, two hydroxy groups must be at 1, 3 positions. So, here from this side, you will, you are just having another branch of it. Okay. And here you will get another branch of it. Right. Now, just try to check. In the reactant, the epoxide is above the plane. That's why after opening the ring epoxide, then the hydroxy group of epoxide should be with thick line only. Okay. Now, the attack here is also considered as SN2. That is, opposite attack should be takes place in this case. Hydroxy, two hydroxy groups must be at one comma three position and the epoxy hydroxy group should be above the plane. Okay, so that hydroxy group must be with thick line here. So we, there is no need to show this, but I uh, just try to say here the hydride which comes from that red aluminum should be backside to the plane of it. Then only this uh, epoxy hydroxy group moves above the plane okay from this what do you understand when you apply red aluminium on allylic epoxide always produces 1 comma 3 diols okay and the hydride delivery write down hydride delivery by that or from that Red aluminium always intramolecularly. Okay, you can see hydro delivery taking place intramolecularly. Right now, just try to check dibol. So, when you apply dibol, how the reaction takes place? So, just draw the epoxy here. Okay. Now, here is the branch of that epoxide, here allylic uh, oxygen, hydroxy oxygen, right. So, the same step takes place and elimination of H2 and which have bond with aluminium of dibol, okay, right. And just uh, draw the another part of this dibol. Now, aluminium interact with epoxy oxygen okay the lone pair of electrons on epoxy oxygen interact with aluminium mtd orbitals and here here also you can see a five membered uh, ring right in this case there is no further hydrogens on this dibol only dibol we have one hydrogen okay here you can see only uh, dibol will have one hydrogen and which is taken up here and which is move away as a H2, right? In this case, to open this epoxide, another dibol H should should be used. Okay, right. Now just try to take another dibol H. So which should always attack here, not from here or here. Okay, so it uh, the. Um, Another dibol should attack this epoxide from here. This is only the possible way to escape from the steric repulsions. Okay, in this condition, epoxide opening takes place here. And if epoxide opening takes place in that way, you can see here is the hydroxy group and here is the hydroxy group. So two hydroxy groups are one comma two position and the epoxy hydroxy group should be with thick line okay because this attack is also sn2 type and the attack should be from the back side end of the epoxy to open this epoxide okay so here you can write the hydrogen or the hydride which comes from the dipole ball should be a back side to the plane of the molecule okay now just check here in the options where 1 comma 2 hydroxy groups and epoxy hydroxy group is with thick line okay so when you apply dibol on the given allylic epoxide produces product which is given here and when you apply red aluminium produces the product like this okay and uh, what you understand from this when you apply dibol on uh, a 
allylic epoxide which is a intermolecular attack okay that means hydride delivery with dibol always takes place uh, intermolecularly okay you can see two dibols are required to open this epoxide okay in that case dibol will produce 1 comma 2 dioles whereas uh, red aluminum produces 1 comma 3 dioles or from that allylic epoxide so option 3 is the correct answer okay right thank you very much